Well, the sun's come out, and um, but if you actually just have a look up at the mountain there, up at the Ruapehu, it's it is very cloudy, and probably still raining up there, possibly even snowing. Uh, wasn't that great to go to Tangiwai? It is a really important part of our volcanic history here in New Zealand, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really interesting place and an important part of New Zealand's history as well. Anyway. Harry, what are you doing? You've brought us to the side of the stream and he's been playing in the sand here. Come on, what's yeah. what's going on? I love building, I love sand pits. I keep on doing it. I started when I was three and I'm 62 and I'm still doing it. It's great. So I've made a, a model of, working model of the Crater Lake. Here's the Crater Lake before the eruption. Water overflowing over the outlet here like it norm normally does. It's about 100 metres deep. During the eruption of 1995, the water got emptied out. And then, as the as the eruption ended, there was a whole lot of ash came up, and around the crater rim, it was built up by up to, by eight meters over the former outlet. So then the lake started refilling after the eruption. The lake refilled up, and because there was a dam there, it filled higher until in March 07 it broke, and this big flood went out. And there's the toilet block. Out at Tangiwai. Yeah, out at Tangiwai. It's got, it's got washed away, not the bridge. Not the bridge. The bridge isn't washed away, but the toilet block was here and it got washed away. Never found it. Never found it. The toilet's down somewhere down the valley. But that, but that bridge is, was built strong, so that was good. Yep, the bridge didn't get washed away and it's still there. Great, what an awesome model. We couldn't go up to Crater Lake, so we brought Crater Lake to you. <laughs>